Hi all, today we're going to talk about factors, multiples and primes. So, if I had a number, say 12, and um, I wanted to know the factors of 12 and the multiples of 12, it's very important that you know the difference. So, let's start with factors. Now, factors are the numbers that go into another number. So, if I want the factors of 12, I'm thinking of all the numbers that go into 12. Well, I can start with 1, because 1 goes into every number. And it goes into 12 as well. Then, So what else goes into 12? Well, 2 goes into 12, because you can check with the 2 times table. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And yep, 12 is in the list, so 2 is a factor. And 12 is an even number. And if you have an even number, then... 2 must be one of its factors. OK, um, what about 3? Well, you can check with the 3 times table. 3, 6, 9, 12. Yep, 3. Does 4 go into 12 perfectly? Yes, it does. 5, well, let's check. 5, 10, 15. So um, 5 doesn't go into 12, so 5 is not a factor of 12. Uh, 6... If you check the 6 times table, 6, 12, then yeah, 6 goes into it. Uh, 7, no, 8, no, 9, no, no. Um, and the number itself, 12. 12 goes into 12. Now, there's a nice check you can do here to check that you've got every number. So if you loop the first number with the last number, 1 times 12, yep, yeah, that makes 12. 2 times 6, yep, yeah, 12. And 3 times 4. 12. If one of those sums don't work, you've probably added an extra number here or um, missed out one of your factors. OK, so that's factors of 12. What about multiples? Well, multiples are the numbers that are in another number's times table. So if I'm looking for the multiples of 12, I can just start with 12. And then I just write out the 12 times table. 12, 24. Next is 3 times 12, 36. 4 times 12, next is 48. And 5 times 12 is 60. Now, I could carry on, but it goes on forever. So I don't want to do that, because that would be a waste of my life. So instead, I'm going to put dot, 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 that shows it goes on forever. Often the question will ask you for just, say, five multiples of 12. It doesn't have to be these five. It could be any number in the 12 times table. So you could have had 120. That's in the 12 times table. Or you could have had 1,200. Or you could have had 8,424. All of these numbers are in the 12 times table. But it's usually simpler to do the first few numbers. OK, let's look at another number then. So we've done 12. We're happy with that. Don't need the arrow anymore. So let's start with, um, say, 20. OK, so factors of 20. So we're looking for all the numbers that go into 20. Well, we can always start with 1 with factors. Um, 20 is an even number, so 2 is going to go into it. Um, 3, does 3 go into 20? Well, no. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, so no. 4, yeah, 4 does. 5 does, because it ends in a 0 or a 5. 6, no. 7, no. 8, no. 9, no. 10, yep. Yeah. And the number itself, 20. And let's just check that. 1 times 20, 20, 2 times 10, and 4 times 5, yep, yeah, 20. OK, what about multiples? So here, a question may ask for any 5 multiples of 20. Well, I can always start with 20, and then I'm just going to write out the 20 times table. 40, 60, 80, 100 dot, 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 shows it goes on forever. OK, right, why don't you try a couple now? So I will 
give you a couple. I'd like you to write down the factors and multiples of 26 and the factors and multiples of the number 11. Okay, give those a go. You can pause the video now. Okay, let's see how you got on. So, factors of 26. On your in your list you should have 1 2 13 and 26. So 26 doesn't have that many factors. It only has 4. And for the multiples, well, you can't work out all of the multiples, but um, I'm going to write the first few here. So you should have, um, you can have 26, then add on 26 each time. You don't have to know your 26 times table. You can just add on 26 to each number. 78, 104, 130, dot, dot, dot. Or you could have had, say, 260 or 2,600, any of these numbers, as long as 26 divides into it with no remainder. OK, what about 11 factors? Now, the factors of 11 is quite interesting. Well, 1 goes into it because 1 goes into everything. Um, 2, no, 3, no. And actually, if you, you look at all the numbers up to 11, None of them go into 11, apart from 1 and 11 itself. Now this means that 11 is a special number. And well done if you're shouting at the screen now, uh, prime number. So 11 is a prime number because it only has two factors, 1 and itself. And the first few prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. Now all of these numbers in this list are prime numbers because they only have two factors, one and itself. And actually the list of prime numbers go on forever too. OK, and the multiples, multiples of 11, well, these are the numbers in the 11 times table, so 11, 22, 33, this is easy, isn't it? 44, 55, dot, dot, dot. And the same, you could have had any number in the 11 times table. So say 110, 121, 1,100, as long as it's in the 11 times table. OK, that's factors, multiples, and prime numbers. Make sure you know which is which.